Trina, how y'all doing? Y'all doing okay? Are you doing okay? It's hot here. Is that just me? You're so nice. Hey, see there I go again. I've never wanted to do that. Uh, so that was... That was... You're so sexy, you're so sexy. And wildfire. Uh, and we're gonna do a few no a few songs from the new album. I put out a new album about like a month ago. Um, the album is called House on a Hill. And I hope you've listened to it before you came. If you did, it's okay. Just pretend like you did. I really can't tell the difference. I look at you, and if you're not mouthing the words, just just make it happen. I like, oh, they strained it. They downloaded it. Uh, so this album was very much an existential crisis for me. Uh, That's okay. We had an existential crisis. Yeah. If you didn't put your hand up, you're either A, a liar, or B, it's coming. It will get you. You wake up one day and you're like, why am I living life this way? It's fine, we get through it. Life happens. But uh, a lot of the album was kind of inspired by a crisis that I was having. And uh, the first one came when I was like, I think we can buy a house. And then I was like, no, we're not gonna do that. But like, why do I want a house? And uh, we started going down a rabbit hill of questions. So the next song we will do is House on a Hill. And then the one after that is a song called Exist. Uh, very much on the nose for an existential crisis. <laughs> uh, could not be any more subtle. So, I'm gonna sing this, these two songs, but I need you guys to sing it with me, all right? So, just in case you did not, I'm sure you listened to the albums. I'm sure you got the physical CD and you've just been, been listening to it on, on your Walkman CD player. I'm sure you have. I'm sure you went and got an older car with a CD player in it just to listen to my album, and I appreciate it. But just in case you forgot, I'm gonna teach you your part, okay? So in House on Hill, in the pre-chorus, there we go, she has it, she has it all. It goes, that's all I need you to do. Like, I'm not even asking that much from you. It's literally four notes. It's actually three notes, one of them is sung twice. <laughs> Same note. <laughs> okay? Can we practice that real quick? One, two, three, go. <laughs> Got it. That was good. Thank you. Thank you. I was deciding if I should be an Asian parent or not. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yes. I, uh, speaking of Asian parents, I just did a show in Atlanta a few weeks ago, and right at like 1 a.m., my mom decides to call me and, and just really encourage me on this long, grueling tour. She calls me and says, Yindaya, my creator, Eric, I think you missed some notes. I was like, oh, thank you so much for coming to my show and calling me at 1 a.m. to remind me that out of a 100-minute show, maybe I missed a few notes. Thank you. And that is her way of showing love. <laughs> that is Asian immigrant parent love. Right there. In its fullest, thickest form. But anyways, I'm not going to do that to you for this song. The next song we're going to do is Exist. And your part, again, very simple. Four words. If you're ambitious, I'll give you a fifth. Okay? The words are only you and I. And then the ambitious word, the A plus student goes for extra credit. The word is exist. Okay? I know. Your part goes. <laughs> she goes, that's crazy. <laughs> I know. That's what I said. It's for the A plus ambitious child. Only you. Only you and I. Only you. Only you and I, only you, only you and I, only you, only you and I exist. There you go. All right. 
to these two songs. I need y'all to sing it with me. You guys ready? Yeah! Well, let's give it a whirl. Yes. Yes. 